Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on trigonometry. In this video, we'll be looking at Pythagoras theorem, the statement. In a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So we look at the right angle triangle below. It is label A, B, C, and uh, the method of labeling the sides is by naming the side opposite the angle A as small letter A, and the side opposite to angle B as small letter B, and the side opposite to angle C is the small letter C. The longest side of the right angle triangle is the hypotenuse. That is the side that is opposite to the right angle. So from this right angle triangle, by Pythagoras theorem, we have A squared, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So we have it as a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. And that is all. Then we shall be using this Pythagoras theorem to solve some problems. So we start with problem one. Problem one, calculate the value of x in each of the triangles below. We have a triangles A, B, and C. So starting from A part of the problem, the longest side here, which is the side opposite the right angle, which is called the hypotenuse, is this X. So by Pythagoras theorem, we are going to have it as X squared is equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared. 4 squared is 16 and 3 squared is 9. So we have x squared to be 16 plus 9, which gives 25. Therefore, we have our x to be square root of 25, if you square both sides. So we are going to have x is equal to square root of 25, which gives 5. So we are done finding the value of x in problem 1a. Then we go to 1b. For problem 1b, the hypotenuse here is 13 meters and the unknown is one of the other two sides. So 13 is the hypotenuse. So we go ahead to say x squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared minus the square of the other side. So we are going to have it as 169 minus 25, and that gives 144. Since x squared is equal to 144, x will be square root of 144, and that gives 12. So that's the end of solution to problem 1b. We then go to 1c. So for c, again, the hypotenuse is the longest side here which is seven millimeters and we have one of the other sides unknown so that's going to give us x squared is equal to square of the hypotenuse minus the square of the other side and this is giving us 289 minus 64 this gives 225 and the x now will be square root of 225, which gives 15. And we are done with problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem 2, given the diagram below, find the value of x and of y. So we have this diagram here. And there are two right-angled triangles here. So for easy referencing, I want to label the diagram A, B, C, and uh, D. And we are to find the value of X and of Y. 
we are not going to look at its alphabetical order we are going to look at the convenience it is not possible for us to find x before y because we are going to be having two unknowns so we'll be looking at how to find the value of y first before the x so we say from triangle abc a b c so we know this is the hypotenuse ab is the hypotenuse since it is the side facing the right angle so we are going to have it as y squared is equal to 13 squared minus 12 squared this is going to give us 169 minus 144 and that gives 25 since y squared is equal to 25 therefore y will be square root of 25 and that gives 5 then we now go ahead to find the uh, x so from triangle adc from triangle adc um the ac which is y is the hypotenuse the x is one of the other two sides therefore we are going to have it as x squared is equal to the square of the hypotenuse minus the square of the other two sides this is going to give us 25 minus 9 25 minus 9 gives 16 so x squared is equal to 16 so x will be square root of 16 and that gives 4 we are done with problem 2 we then go to problem 3 for problem 3 again we have a a combination of two triangles that is right angle triangles in the diagram so we are told in the diagram ab is 13 centimeters ab is 13 centimeters bc bc is 5 centimeters and bd is 14 centimeters so from b to d is 14 centimeters calculate ad we have to calculate a d we have to calculate a d if you study the diagram very well um we can not calculate a d without calculating a c and d c so we start with a c first so starting with a c we say from triangle a b c the ac is unknown and ac is not the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is ab so we are going to have it as ac squared is equal to the square of the hypotenuse minus the square of 5 so that's going to give us 169 minus 25 and that gives 144 therefore AC is square root of 144 and that gives 12 centimeters so AC is 12 centimeters we represent it there for easy manipulation of the other ones um, since BD is 14 and BC is 5 so we can easily get CD by subtracting 5 from 14 and that gives us a uh, 9 centimeters so cd is 9 centimeters so we can now apply the pythagoras theorem again to find ad now we go ahead to find the ad remember ad is hypotenuse from here so we go and say from triangle adc the hypotenuse which is ad squared is equal to 12 squared plus 9 squared since we are looking for the hypotenuse so it's going to be sum so that we now have it as 144 plus 81 and that gives 225 so ad is equal to square root of 225 and that will give us 15 centimeters so we are done with problem 3 we go to problem 4 
For problem 4, calculate the value of A and of B in the diagrams below, correct to the nearest 0.1 centimeters. Um, starting from A, from A, we know that this is the hypotenuse. So therefore, we are going to have A squared is equal to 9 squared plus 6 squared. This is giving us 81 plus 36, and that gives 117. So finding A, which is the square root of 117, and that will give us 10.82. We can obtain this from the calculator or from our mathematical tables. So to the nearest 0.1 centimeters, that is one decimal place, we are going to have it as 10.8 centimeters. That is to the nearest 0.1 centimeters so we go to b for b this is the hypotenuse 16 is the hypotenuse the unknown is not the hypotenuse so we are going to have it as b squared equal to 16 squared minus 14 squared this is giving us 256 minus 196 giving us 60 b squared is equal to 60 therefore b is equal to square root of 60 and that gives 7.75 and to the nearest 0 0.1 we have it as 7.8 centimeters to the nearest 0 0.1 and that is the end of solution to problem 4 this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching until we come your way again, goodbye.